it's a breaking one Gulu University as they have decided a new guild president the students of Gulu University have made a statement via the vote and they got president Okera Yot Aron a third year student in the faculty of law has emerged victorious after gaining a total of 999 votes out of 2500 35 valid votes beating Anyatiraja Drake Marvin, a fourth year student of the Faculty of Medicine, who got 895 votes. Odile Jackson, the Guru University returning officer, announced the result yesterday, the 14th of April 2024, saying it is one of the most free and fair elections Gulu University has ever held in years. At the time of declaration, Gulu University legal officer Mara Moses and Okui Pamela Peace who was the deputy dean of students were around to witness the entire process. Congratulations to dear brother Okara Haron for your victory. Now what we need to look at is uh, the full result from the declaration sheet. The name number one is uh, Adong Jennifer, who got 104 votes. Then name with serial number two is Ampumuza Joldin, who got a total of 134 votes. And Tacha Dreit Marvin, who came as a runner-up and got, as I had said before, 895 votes. Lubakene Justin got 274 votes. Udong David Ganiad, 65 votes. And lastly, Kariot Aron got 999 votes, who, as I said, emerged the winner. That is it for Gulu University, a free and fair election. Most of campus politics is more matured, competitive, full of intelligence than the politics outside campus. I wish the people outside campus could also cope up with a trend of uh, the campus politics so that what Mao calls politics of uh, buff is uh, not practiced actually now. Thank you very much and I hope you stay tuned for the next one. Okay. We need all the student questions out. No more NRM here. No, no more, no, no, no more no NRM here. Yes. The gate has not benefited from NRM's over the conditions. In the benefit of the students, we have activities that must be carried out using the guild fee that we pay. We find that activities that are meant to strengthen the student leadership here, the activities that students are supposed to benefit from, are not being funded, and all they tell us that there is no money. Yet the money was released. The financial year is coming to an end. The money was there and they're telling us politics. We have come here to demand that they fund our requisitions so you can run activities that will benefit the students who voted for us but also the students who paid for this money. That is all. And then secondly, we have paid money. In the last semester, all, most of the students paid money. And let me say all. Because for you to do papers, you have to pay money. And we always hear there is no, there is, there is no money, there is no money. You find Games Union is running successfully. Why is it that the guild money, when, we, when it reached the guild, they say that there is no money? GRCs are working day and night. They are not receiving their allowances since we entered in December. Up to now, we have not received even a single cent. And you go out, students from your constituencies will be demanding you. You hear someone calling you out, oh, we don't have shop. And as a leader, you must give out. Yeah. So we need that money out. Not even more than today. Tear them out of Gulen University. Because people are playing the politics of, uh, of Russia, you come. where they are praising the government. The song they sing is NRM, NRM. Yet we are not seeing things being done on ground. I, one, one, of, one of the most important things we should understand is that me being a citizen of Uganda, I am entitled to specific things. The right for free education, health service, and the rest of the things which you have mentioned. These are the things which I am entitled to. It's not something which is linked to a particular political party. Because we pay tax in, in Gulu University, anywhere, the commodities we buy, these are things where we pay taxes. And so we deserve the services are really meant to be done happening on ground. So that's why we are saying we don't want NRM 
leaders, leaders in the in, in the university. Because right now, what the student leaders who support NRM here, what they do is just to praise the government and they get paid some minor minor allowances. If there's one person benefiting, how do we say that we can have a better good university? The ideolo ideological clinic. But believe me, these people were not told what is happening in the 20th guild. They are not aware. So they came speaking about the good things. We, we, we really accept there is no demonstration. But they don't know what we underwent to deprive students, to stop demonstration. We were the very guild officials who stopped students from demonstrating. And now they so are promoting bribery. One man of the guild president being in NRM. And this one, we are not agreeing with it. And yet the, the university is not supporting us. They are not releasing money. The guild fee that students pay for, to fund the activities. And this is what we don't want. To Not even the allowances for the officials. With the administration. So as he had just said, me, I am a government student representative. And I am out of the, the university. They have been suppressing us. Yeah. Payment of